I really had doubts, um, so much insecurity about being successful. I, I feared failure and it kept me, it held me back, that fear of failure. It wasn't until I decided to fully commit and really give it a chance and know I, maybe I will fail, but I'm going to really try. Um, that's what, that's when my business took off. And I, I learned the hard way on a lot of things. So I did a lot of things wrong yeah. in the first, in that first year. Uh, but, but for me, I think I needed to learn that way. Um, slowed my, I, I would have become profitable sooner if I had maybe gotten a little more guidance, but there's lots of different ways to be successful with this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think there's, there's so, there's so many different ways like that you can, you can grow and sell microgreens. Like it does like there, there's, there's ways that people haven't even explored yet and, and, and how to do it that, you know, that like, there'll be in a few years, there'll be someone that, you know, start like is really interested in growing microgreens and has this really creative idea on how to use them or how to sell them in some unique way and then completely transform the industry. And I, I'm very excited for that to, to happen as more and more in, very intelligent people come into the industry that will inevitably happen. And, 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 you know, I'm very excited for that. Um, but I think, I think you brought up a good point about, um, uh, fear of failure, because I think that is one of the most common things uh, I see that prevent people from getting started. I think um, uh, like the fear is so strong in, in making a, a, a shift that it, it can be overwhelming to to make a decision like that. And I think like what you mentioned about people kind of finding a balance or getting to the point where they're comfortable enough kind of in your, in your situation where you took two years to really figure it out and find a way to, to feel more comfortable in doing something you love rather than something you that doesn't bring you the same kind of uh, a joy or enjoyment in work. And then, and then by that point in doing it for a period of time, you can kind of make that transition and feel more comfortable. So you don't have to like jump off an airplane to start a, a business. Like there's many different ways to do it, including doing a very slow transition for people that do find the, the fear of failure being overwhelming, which I think we all at some point had that. And then with, you know, in a way, exposure therapy kind of just kind of gets you over that because you realize, oh, it's not that bad to actually fail. There's many benefits to failing, including learning a lot, which is, yeah. I think, you know, a very profound finding from failure. Um, if you view it that way and have that perspective is you gain a ton of insight uh, in yourself and, and, and in your business and anything else uh, from failing.